Hi, I'm Janissa Acey, director of the studio, and this is Sarah Hamill, and we are going to do recital makeup for ballet for the combo kids. Um, as you get older, you can add a little bit more, but this is just for basically the ballet tap combo ages three to six ages. All right, so this is Sarah, and we're just going to start with a little bit of just powder, pressed powder, and I'm just going to rub it all over her face with the brush. You could, you're more than welcome to use foundation if you'd like. You don't have to. Um, we, the purpose of the makeup not is not to be toddlers and tiaras. It's to just give them a little bit of expression on the stage. The stage lights are so so bright, vibrant that you will for sure be washed out, and then you won't have any. Um, any expressions, you won't have any smiles or anything on stage. Now, I am not a makeup artist, but I'm a dancer and I've done this for a long time. So this is just to help the parents of our studio out. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of blush. This is my makeup set, this is, so you can use whatever you have at home. We do have Mar little Mary Kay samples for $5 that we sell here at the studio that you can use, but you don't have to. If you have all this makeup at home, then you are more than welcome to use what you already have. So smile for me. So right on the apples of her, whoop, I don't have enough. We're going to make really pink circles and then go up from there. And sometimes at dress rehearsal, if we see your kiddo on stage and she's just looking a little washed out, we'll, um, we'll put a little bit more on her and then remind you to put a little bit more on her at, at um, recital so that way you can really see your daughter on the stage and on the video as well. All right, then we're gonna do purple, and this is something that you wanna think bright purple. You don't wanna think a lavender, and you don't wanna think a dark purple. You wanna go pretty bright in this purple. Um, NYC has this at um, Walmart, and I think it's at Target and at Walgreens, and it, I've used this a few times, but this is what I use with the comp kids. And I pick up the brightest color here. And I'm going to go, so, Keep, keep your eyes closed for me. So this is her bone structure. So right where the, the bone comes in, and it will be different on every kiddo, um, you want to cover that entirely. So I'm going to start a little bit in the middle and pull out and go right along her bone structure line and then just fill it in. All right, so then I'm going to do again to the other side. And then just kind of wipe the ac excess off with my finger. I'm going to go a little bit darker so we make sure we don't lose her on stage. There we go. All right, I'm going to take white on my brush or on a Q-tip or on one of those little applicators that come with the um, makeup. And I'm going to just put it right along the lower part of her brow. And if your daughter has super dark eyebrows, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but the eyebrows are supposed to be the frame of our face. So if you can't see the eyebrows on, um, you know, just right now on camera, but especially underneath the lights, then we lose that frame. So I'm gonna color in her eyebrows just a little bit. So take that white and put it right above. I'm gonna go about this color. It's a little bit of a sand color. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go along the, the length of her natural eyebrow. So you don't want to go black, obviously, and you don't want to go too much. Like this isn't taking a dark brown and putting it all over her. This is just a little bit. And if we get on stage and we need to add more, we can totally completely add more. But this is just so we can kind of see. Of course, this is not makeup that these girls would wear anywhere else but on the stage. And like I said before, this is just so we can see them when they are on the stage. So Sarah, if you have a daughter that has very dark eyelashes too, then you probably don't need to add um, eyeliner and uh, mascara, but I'm gonna do it a little bit on her just so we can see her eyes as they open. So, all right, so I'm just gonna start at the very outside of her eyeball and go very light on the inside. And I don't wanna go all the way in. I'm going to do it again on the other side. Oh, keep it real still. So this one I made a little bit thicker. All right, and then here's my trick. So when I'm doing eyes on someone else, I say look up to the ceiling 
and then look right at my nose with your eyeballs. And that way her eyelashes are right straight up to the ceiling. So keep your head back. Here we go. And then look right up, look at, right at my nose. Look at my, I know, look at my nose with your eyeballs. There we go. And I'm just going to go a couple sweeps, not even a whole lot. And try to hold real still for a second. This one's tricky. Perfect. Beautiful. She has such gorgeous eyes. All right, and now we've got lips to put on. So last we have lipstick. Um, I like the ruby color, it's an NYC, and you can get it at Walgreens and Target, and it's 305B, ruby, 305B. Like I said, if you already have something that's similar to this, that's fine too. You don't have to go out and buy lipstick for um, recital if you already have it. But if you don't, and you wanna know what color to get, or if you plan on dancing for a very, very long time, this lipstick will stick around for a long time. This is what we have our comp girls do. And just put it on normal. All right, and rub your lips together. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. Now smile pretty. Oh, go like this again. There you go. Let's put a little bit more on the bottom. There you go, and she is recital ready.